teacher said go home and write a page tonight and let that page come out of you. Then it will be true. I wonder if it's that simple. I was constipated for a week. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything comes down to poo. <laughs> yes. I can't believe they took Scrubs off Netflix. I that was my go-to. I'm so upset about that. Hi, all. This is Legends from a Cramped Apartment. I have a few people with me. You want to introduce yourselves? Hey, guys. It's Random. I'm your DM from last season and for this season as well. Hi, everyone. I'm Danielle, and I was playing Sariel. And I am Jesse, previously Grimm. Grimm. That's a new take. Grimm. And uh, we're sitting around a table right now with some new microphones. Yeah, it's uh, pretty awesome. Uh, last season, if you listened... And if you did, thank you, and I'm sorry for our poor audio quality. Uh, we had really poor audio quality. Uh, and part of that was because we were using a bunch of individual mics hooked up to different computers, different recording programs, and then trying to unify them later. And we weren't getting live feedback, so when we were bumping into the mic over and over again, or breathing heavily, we couldn't tell. And that was really rough on Jesse, who is our sound engineer and sound editor. Yeah, but now... We have a mixer, we have individual mics all hooked up to that mixer, all hooked up to one computer. It's really sweet. I hope to be able to do all the editing in less than like two hours instead of seven. So that'll be nice. Um, but even if it does take me a little longer, it'll be in order to give you that sweet, sweet, crisp audio quality that most podcasters have. And now we will too. Um, as far as changes, for season two, this is just the beginning. Uh, we had a lot of fun um, learning, but we're done learning, and it's time to <laughs> time to get down to business. So, what else do you have for us? So, uh, this season we're going to be working a lot on making sure that we have compatible characters. Last season, everybody really loved their own character and tended to sort of hate the other people's characters. Jesse loved Grimm; he wasn't that beloved by the party. Uh, he was so well tolerated. He was probably the most tolerated member of the party, which is really, Terrifying. really bad. Uh, which is why we're doing a group character building session. So we kind of get our characters in sync and compatible so that going forward, it's not like herding cats. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was bad. Specifically one cat and a couple of other characters. We are creating a narrative together, and I think that's going to be a big change. Uh, I'm really excited about some of these new characters I've heard about, and I hope to get along with them. Yeah, <laughs> and and on the note of a unified narrative, uh, we're going to be slowing down our pacing a lot. Last set, last season, we started you guys at level four, and I leveled you up pretty quickly because I sort of wanted to play around with some larger themes in the world. But it ended up being a bad choice for our narrative because we didn't get to spend a lot of time developing the characters themselves. Uh, so we're going to go a lot slower. This season we're going to be starting the characters at level one. All new characters and a completely new setting in the world uh, rather than the sort of heroic setting that is Philanceer and the characters that from, come from that. We're going to be doing sort of a gritty urban setting in Clotheri Optum, which is basically the last city on the uh, southern continent to be added to the Unified Empire. Last season, we had uh, a lot of problems with in-character decisions versus out-of-character arguments. Um, and we're looking to avoid that as much as possible. Five-second rule, Nylee. Five-second rule. It's a fork. Maybe we should unmute Nylee if she's going to be here. Oh, yeah. Uh, You're back, Nylee. Welcome back. Yeah. Nylee lives in the cramped apartment with us. Uh, well, some of us. And... Um, She's helping us test out our audio, and she's eating some pancakes, which look fantastic. Um, a great AM, ASMR feel to this episode. Yeah. Um, so yeah, last season, lots of in-character decisions being affected by out-of-character knowledge. Um, we saw that in the jungles of Clotheros when Sun and Acadius had a big argument, but Sun was basing it on knowledge that he didn't have. Yeah, all of this is talking. But there are two different types of talking. There's talking and there's actionable talking. So instead of us sitting around going in circles about the same subject, I would love to be more character driven, more character specific. 
And so when we get in an argument, it's a meaningful argument rather than out of character. I personally have a lot of respect for that sort of stuff, but it just doesn't turn into good podcast. Yeah. Um, on the subject of making this good podcast, we're going to do a few things that we hope are going to make it more easier for you as our audience members to connect to the podcast. Uh, the first of those uh, we've already talked about in the in character versus out of character. You're going to be able to connect to our characters and you won't have to try and figure out what's going on with our players. Or our social lives, hopefully. Yeah. Um, the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to try to keep our mechanics up to date for you. So anytime we're pulling out a spell with which you may not be familiar, we're going to give a brief sort of breakdown on what it does. Uh, and in terms of like if we're attacking an enemy, we're going to sort of walk through that a little more than we did in the last season so that it's more followable. We're looking at improving our podcast so it's more enjoyable for you as the audience. Uh, if you have any suggestions on that front, feel free. Send us a message on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube if that's where you're following us. Um, any way you want to contact us, feel free. We'd love to have your feedback so that we can continue to improve. One thing that I think could be fun that we tried to kind of start a little bit last last season in the podcast struggled a little bit, so we were never able to get it off the ground. Once we do get more followers and that sort of thing, I like the idea about, you know, so many Patreon ah. things and kind of incorporating the audience into the podcast as we go, naming an NPC after somebody or yeah. letting an audience member make some, not big decision, but an important decision in that Yeah, so... Plot. Um, our Patreon really never got off the ground. And part of that is because we have a really small uh, audience. I was going to say viewership, but that's not really accurate. Our, yeah. our audience is just very, very small. So having a but Patreon... we love you. We do adore all of our audience members. Especially um, Sam. Sam and, you know, it. all of our grandmothers who just put us on in the background and mute us. Oh my God. Could you imagine the amount of times I've had to bleep F-words but left so much more? <laughs> Um, yeah, so anyone who is in our audience, we do adore you, but we have a really tiny audience. So the practicalities of putting in the work to put up a Patreon and make all of those reward levels a reality is, it's not really there for us yet. Uh, we haven't had a chance to really talk about it, but I think probably a place where we'll start is if we're getting a hundred weekly downloads, then we can really start to look at maybe doing a Patreon. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's basically all of the stuff that we wanted to share with you for today. Uh, we are getting ready to start recording season two in the very near future. Uh, we've already had our, ses our session zero, so our players sort of have an idea of what's going on. And uh, we're really excited to bring these new stories to you coming going forward. We will have a slight change of cast, unfortunately. We will be losing Kayla and Duncan, and we will be gaining a new member named Ben. He is fantastic, so look forward to that. Yeah, Ben is my best friend in the whole wide world. Uh, he was my freshman year roommate in college, and he is a phenomenal role player, so getting him into the party should help us sort of stay focused and in character like we really would like to. Uh, as far as Kayla and Duncan go, we still love them. They are both uh, at busy points in their lives. We wish them all the best, and we hope that they can continue to uh, sort of collaborate with us uh, in our artistic and advisory level. That sounds like an obituary. We're still friends with them. We still see them and hang out with them. Yeah, quite often. I was texting Kayla today. Uh, I personally love Ben. He is an awesome creative force, and I hope that he brings that force to his character. Yeah. Uh, it's also worth noting, getting to the end of a long day and sitting down to record four hours of audio is brutal, which is why we are looking to reschedule our recording times to weekend, morn weekend mornings so that we can be more focused and keep this uh, sort of flowing so we can create more quality content. Little more bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. All right. Any last words from Danielle? 
Nothing too brilliant, just for our current audience. Make sure to stick with us. Things will be changing a lot lately, but we got some awesome things planned. And for new friends, welcome. It's going to be a blast. Snarf Blatt. That was beautiful, baby. Nylee, anything you'd like to say? Good luck. Thanks, Nylee. And here is where I start playing Things Are A-Changin'. And uh, as it fades out to to, uh, audio infinity, I would like to thank you all for listening, and we'll see you in a week. Feel free to dance when the music plays, because I usually do. See y'all later. Everything comes down to poo. For a second, I thought we were going with everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome. Everything sucks. And that's Niley. <laughs>